follow the list questions and put it three times. So you are given a list of interval and then basically you just have to find out uh, the gap uh, in the between if they have a free time. So uh, just just for example, and this is going to be like one two. So you take the spot for one two, and then you take the spot for five six, and then you take the spot for one three, and then you take the spot for four ten. So four ten. So just imagine right here. So the only like the only sphere in the time interval is right over here, right? So you return three four. Alright, so this is pretty much the idea, right? And how do we actually need to solve this? So we are going to use priority queue. So we put every single one into the priority queue and then we sort based on the first index, which is the star. And uh sorry. So this is gonna be interval a star, so we have to sort the interval based on the star and then uh, later on I would, when we just uh, find out uh, the two scenario one is overlapping so something like this right so this is the starting for one ending for one starting for two ending for two right so if I have ending which is greater or equal greater or equal than the starting then I will definitely need to what I will definitely need to ex uh, extend my interval and then this is going to be what this is going to be my interval that I need to compare with the next interval right so this is the first scenario right and then the second scenario is going to be like this this is the starting ending and this will be another starting and ending so they are not overlapping right they are not overlapping so you can actually add the interval uh, the free interval right so you have to add this interval into your uh, list of interval right so you are uh, starting from end of uh, M1 to S2 starting, right? So starting for two, ending for one, right? So uh, this is pretty much the idea, right? So uh, let's stop coding. So I'm going to have a list of interval, right? And I'm going to call result, new array list, return result, priority Q uh, interval, right? If you go to new priority Q, and then we need to sort based on the star, right? Sorry. And then uh, what we need to do is to put every single one of them, right? We put every single one of them into the uh, into a PQ, right? For interval, right? And I'm gonna say S or something like this, right? It doesn't matter. Pq add x, right? And then I'm gonna just using the value. Well, pq is 90, right? So I can I can basically keep holding, but I need one, but I need one interval to compare at first, right? Right? I, I need one interval to compare, right? So I will say interval for current equal to pq hold. So again, so there are two scenario cases, right? One is what? Uh, one is overlap. The other one, uh, the other one is non overlap, right? Something like this. Right? So, um, I'm going to start it. So if, uh, if my current dot n, which is greater equal to the p dot p at star, right? I would definitely need to know that like, this is overlap, right? And then I'm going to just put this over here and then using else. And what uh, what do you think about this scenario? So this can be what? Uh, 1, 2, and then comma, and then this will be 1, 3, right? So they are overlapping, right? So the ending, so this is a, so, so the current should be this one. And this is pq.p. So current is what? Uh, the ending is 2, the starting is 1, so it's overlapping. So I need to just bas basically just update, right? So update the, the end, so uh, it determines my which one is greater. So it's either n or what? pq.pol.n, uh, right? 
So you can do like this, you can go out to pick up code. And this will be what? Out of end. And this is non non overlapping. So you can just add into the list of interval, right? So result add new interval. And then I will say turn the end, comma, uh dot p dot stop. Right? And I will say p dot uh turn to the p dot code. Because I because I already used the next interval, right? Um so this is pretty much and let me start running. Alright, so I have the error, so it's going to be what? Uh, this is what? Uh, current n, sorry. Current n. And, yep. Current n, yes. So, so this is the solution, so for the time, uh, this is going to be PQ, right? So, uh, you're traversing what? Uh, uh, all of them, right? I don't represent the end of the schedule, but basically, that like, when you're sorting, it's end of end, right? So, the worst case is going to be end of end, and this is all of them, right? So, the time is end of end, and the space is definitely all of them, right? Uh, the worst case is you have to add every single interval into the list. So, this is the solution, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.